Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. May you all be thriving and healthy in these challenging times. Definitely. Discernment is needed. Oh, my gosh. That's like number one. Wake up. Discern. Discern, discern, discern. Uh, we do want to thank our patrons. You know, uh, the growth over at Patreon has been uh, phenomenal, and it's wonderful. And and we want to thank you guys for your support again over there. Uh, for basically what boils down to about three cents a day, three little pennies that are pretty worthless. Well, you can gain knowledge. You can gain insight uh, for three cents a day and become part of the family over on Patreon because we have exclusive videos that we've been putting up over there. And, you know, it, so far it seems to be working really, really well. It really does. And, and a huge thank you. And, you know, it's, it's a way to help us out if there's some way we're adding to your life, adding value to your life. That really helps us do what we need to do to continue doing this. Absolutely. You know, because we, we do put ourselves out there and and we have, uh, you know, felt the effects and the brunt of the system backlashing at us in more ways than one because they don't like what we do. This is from the CDC. You know, I, I, oh gosh, the CDC put some things out there yesterday and the backlash with people telling the CDC where to stick it was wonderful. Um, but protect yourself against amoeba and all those things that thrive in warm lakes and ponds. Some of them have brain-eating capacities, like this one amoeba that they are warning us of, Negleria falleri. Um, falleri, yeah, it's about right. It can cause a rare but unusually fatal brain infection. If it goes up your nose, you know, one of the pleasures in life as a kid uh, was running and jumping off a dock into a lake. I, re I remember I loved it so well. We would go hiking. We'd skip school. Don't do that, kids. But we'd skip school and, and we'd go out and go up to this one spot that was called the Cascades. And there were these Little, little mini cliffs that we'd go and run and dive into the water below. It was crystal clear. It was beautiful. It was clean. Uh, you know, that that still is out there. It's harder to find that. But here you go. They're warning you. You could get a brain-eating disease. It, this has happened uh, for, for many years now. And, and I, when I was living in Florida, I remember a handful or more of cases uh, that were brought up. Sign of the times, sign of the times. We need to be very aware of many things, especially what we eat, more than ever what we eat. So in case you missed it, GMO is out, bioengineered is in. New U.S. food labeling rule. That went into effect back uh, over a year ago now. And yeah, bioengineered. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why do they always got to play with things? It's part of the system. And, and it's also part of the reality that what we ultimately have is a battle of the organic against the inorganic. It is. It's this, uh, I, I call it the Luciferian experiment, where they're taking everything that has its originality from source and they're disconnecting it from that original source and they're creating their own source. So it's little by little, step by step, disassembling things from in which, you know, where they, where they begin. And uh, it's, 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 to me, it's a dangerous game. I don't think, you know, I want to be part of that game. And we did do a very heavy hitting uh, Patreon only video today that I would encourage you if, if you haven't checked it out, uh, do check it out. You know, we are in a state of war. It, that's the and you know that's that's the only way to really look at it. it is the state of war. We are behind enemy lines in this big uh, galactic war that's actually going on, and so you know the enemy is trying to give us the feeling that we are you know, doing all this ourselves, you know, oh, we're, we're, 
this is our world and we're policing ourselves and everything is of our choice and our own doing. It really, again, uh, in some ways it couldn't be farther from the truth, but when we do um, take part in the system, then we are kind of giving power to the system. And yet we have to speak of the system without trying to give it more power, but trying to get more people to recognize exactly what the system is doing. So what's the latest on GMOs and gene edited foods? So, you know, again, no GMOs, bioengineered, gene edited, gene editing, gene editing, genetic engineering, right? Do we see a, a pattern here? This is what everything is about. It's about taking the normal, the organic, that which was, and changing it into something different. This is exactly what's going on. So artificially altering, just like our second chromosome that we have spoken of so much. Yeah, so GMOs, why make GMOs? Well, they'll just say, well, look at it, you know, because you'll see a GMO tomato without a blemish, it might be twice the size of an organic. And yet, when you really look at it, it'll have less nutritional value as this is talking about six major disadvantages of genetically modified foods. You know, I, I've, I've known about this for so long, uh, and my background in, includes uh, periods of time where I was training people on, on as far as health programs, fitness programs, wellness programs. You know, that's that's part of my background that I just enjoyed because... I was a chunky fat kid that was picked on as a little kid. And, you know, so I, I ended up learning about health and fitness and, and wellness. And it, it was always one of my main passions uh, besides everything esoteric and hidden and occult and secret and naughty that we're not supposed to know about, only the secret societies. But when you look at it, again, GMO, genetically modified, bioengineered, they might look better, but they are not better for you. Absolutely not. And so often you will find people will have allergic reactions to them. Often they have much less nutritional value and can cause inflammation. Inflammation, again, is the basis of the vast majority of disease out there. Disease, disease, inflammation, they go hand in hand. And this article talks about that. Allergic reaction, production of toxins, interfering with our metabolic pathways. Yes, reduced nutritional value. They look better. Oh, they, they shine up that old lemon, like just like a bad car on a, you know, a used car lot. Might look great. Oh, but it's not great for you and in releasing toxins into the soil and resistance of pests to toxins because again you know these a lot of times they've been structured so that they will affect the insects that go and typically will plague uh, crops and they can also genetically modify the the insects long term and you know we had a, a a young gentleman out here of about 85 years, I would say he was, because we had a little wasp problem. And he had uh, worked on the house before with the previous owners. And I told him we're not big into to pesticides and toxins, etc. And he was just sharing with me how, you know, over the years, the wasps now are, are almost unkillable compared to what they were. You know, they're resistant to everything. Again, this is changing the chemical makeup of all life on the planet. The whole, everything about this system is getting altered and changed. And so again, I, I just wanted to bring this up uh, for you guys because you might think organic uh, means certain things, but again, you know, you'll find often that organic produce will cost twice as much and it won't even look as good, and you'll get less of it. But the alternatives are, are not good because 
you know, there's so many things in there that might be there that you don't even have a clue of. Now, if you see this little sign, run for the hills. Yeah, that's not a good sign. It looks like it's a pretty little flower, or you could take it as a sun rising and a flower and a you know, green sign of life and everything. What does it mean? It means the food has been irradiated. This sign means they've used radiation on the food you're going to take into your body. Ah, I thought this was great. This little clip here. This little clip here. This is, how does food irradiation, irradiation work? And, you know, again, it, it's like supposed to be selling us on it. Like pests and microorganisms need DNA to function. Irradiation disrupts the DNA and kills the living microorganisms. Do you think that's good for you? Oh, don't worry about it. You know, it's all small doses. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, that's what they tell us. Irradiation disrupts the DNA. It alters, it modifies the DNA, and it literally uh, kills the pests. And do you think it could possibly be good for you? Long-term exposure, taking in these things? Now, this is separate from the GMOs, but again, recognize, too, why we had said before, eat um, from those things that are along the periphery of, of the grocery store and not in the middle. If it's in the middle, if it's something that is processed with multiple ingredients, they don't even have to list that it's been irradiated. Right. They just do whatever they want, and they're doing that more and more, <clears throat> taking information out, putting information in, and n no one has to know about it. And it's just become so common, and that's why we're always wanting people to really know where your food is coming from, you know, from hand to mouth if you can. If not that, you know, talk to your farmer because it is that important yeah absolutely you want to understand wh where your food has been federal rules require whole foods that are radiated and sold in stores such as apples or potatoes to display that sign that's an international symbol for irradiation and carry the phrase treated by irradiation however Processed foods containing irradiated non-meat ingredients such as applesauce or potato chips are exempt. Oh, yeah. And again, this is why you don't eat fast foods. And this is why you don't eat all those junk foods. There is so much more in there than most people bargain for. Food irradiation uses high-energy gamma rays. Gamma rays you know, can cause massive mutations electron beams or x-rays, all of which are millions of times more powerful than standard medical x-rays to break apart the bacteria and the insects that can hide in meat, grains, and other foods. Radiation can do strange things to food by creating substances called unique radiolytic products. These irradiated byproducts include a variety of mutagens, mutagens, substances that can cause gene mutations. Okay, do we get it? This can all lead, obviously, to turbo cancers. All, you know, why, why do we have turbo cancer just everywhere? And it's happening so intensely. Because, you know, things like this have now become the norm where people don't even look. Or we don't even think that we're getting irradiated foods. And organic, 95% or more organic ingredients. What's that other 5% now? What the heck are they doing? They're, they have been creeping up and in constantly. Is this just simply uh, opportunistic behavior? Yeah, oh, it's opportunistic, all right, but it has a purpose. Um, it definitely does. According to the CDC, the only fruits uh, currently being uh, irradiated. Uh, okay, that must be a misprint because it talks about crustaceans, lobsters, shrimp, crabs, you know, those things. Uh, they speak of it like pasteurizing milk and canning fruits and vegetables. Do you know it, some places you cannot get milk that hasn't been pasteurized? Right, and, and it's really silly how, how they do that because if you get 
raw milk, you know, and if it's safe, it can really help your help your gut flora. And that's what we're losing with all of this irradiation and everything that they're doing. It's wiping out our gut flora. And what does that do? It has a huge effect on your health. So fruits and veggies received approval for food irradiation from the FDA all the way back in 86. And a lot of spices are heavily irradiated. And the packaging is irradiated. And when do they do that? After the packaging is already around the object because they want to cut down on contamination. Well, if you're radiating some plastic packaging on top of your food, is it somehow uh, causing some sort of genetic merging or, or, or splicing? Or is it somehow off-gassing? Uh, is it somehow bringing that material into the food that you're then going to eat? Do, do we have any... <laughs> it should be very easy to understand why human poop is loaded with plastic. Because we are loaded with plastics. It's in us because it's in our food. And then we have the estrogen side of things, which again is adding to cancers. From zapping missiles to zapping food. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, there is a lot here. Um, it, it's just something, a topic that came up today in discussion. Are, are irradiated foods in supermarkets? Absolutely. Absolutely. And other things too, like band-aids, cotton balls, contact lens solution, baby pacifiers. They're sucking on radioactive pacifiers. And, and some will say, well, hold on now. They're, they're not radioactive. S still, I mean, look at this, really. Non-stick cookware coatings, you know, and I, and I was trying to find a nice big rectangular pan to buy. Um, because with this stove we have, it, 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 it fits for like a nice griddle. Um, and if you don't want to get too much iron, because you can find them cast iron, but then when you look for, uh, say, something like a steel, they're all coated one way or another. And again, these coatings, so many of them are cancerous. And then you get ones na that are out now saying that they're green coating. I don't trust any of it. None of it. It's it's all become so, again, if you see that symbol, you know that pretty little flower doesn't mean grown in the sunshine. It means it's been irradiated. Obviously, Walmart is, is one of them, uh, as well as others that, that has been criticized for irradiated foods. You know, again, what is the real impact of this radiation after 10, 20, 30 years, 40 years? Again, animal feed. Yes, they irradiate animal feed too. And, and then you remember all those um, better brands or what we thought were better brands of dog food that were killing dogs left and right. You know, uh, we've never skimped. And, and, you know, most of the time I've made Zeke and Sassy when Zeke was with us. And now all the time with, with the pups, with Rama and Sita, we make their food. Um, we will buy some high-end kibble as a treat, and, and that's pretty much how, how Cindy treats it. But their food costs as much as our food, you know, and in fact, m more. You, we spend more on their food than our food because they eat more than we do. Right. You know, they're, the babies are taken care of because of the processing and in the kibble, you cannot, I mean, these are, this processing is like, mega processed food in, in the kibble it's like processed and then processed and then processed and you can't feed a living being every meal every day of his life this highly processed food because it there's nothing live about it so yeah i mean they're big babies they're a little over 100 pounds and we do spend quite a lot of time cooking for them but you can certainly tell you know when i was reading about them they're um they should have peaked out with their with their energy should have peaked out a, a few months ago but these guys they're still going strong running strong playing like they're five weeks old you can definitely tell a difference between between uh feeding feeding animals kibble and uh feeding them real food so you know i strongly encourage to find ways to get your animals the real food and then you actually make it because i still see i see a lot of places out there and they're good just do your homework i'm sure they're fine where they 
feed, you know, they send you like live food for your pet and may, maybe that's okay. But it's always better if you're the one doing it, you know exactly what's in it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is this is part of the big reveal here. You know, it's it's not safe to eat anything in the grocery store nowadays. You know, their their logic is again the radiation is going to kill the bacteria that can kill food poisoning, but long term, is it going to kill you? That's the real question. And you know, May two thousand, irradiated frozen ground beef was first sold in Minneapolis and then spread to other states. And so it, it's all over the place. And there are many different chains that do sell it. Um, it, it does get rid of certain bacteria, but at what? price at what cost and again we're seeing uh massive amounts of cancer and yes we understand that a lot of that is triggered by um what we call fi da, 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 v e g as well as choices when it came to you know cures for the plague upon the land but there's more than that. This is so layered. This is layered. It's one thing on top of another, on top of another. As we were saying before, hey, you know, how many people had mercury feelings? And, and again, that's one more layer to the toxicity. Again, nonstick cookware that has been proven now. Certain ones did cause cancer. Your cell phone actually could cause tumors too close to your head. Uh, the signals from your Wi-Fi, you know, again, it's an, it, the EMFs that we're hit with all day long, the GMO foods, oh, sorry, bioengineered or whatever they want to call it. And then you add the irradiated meat produce and all the fast food. You know, again, uh, I, w I would not eat any fast food. And then is your organic produce being irradiated it's not supposed to but then again we can't trust anything and this is again what we recommend is really really getting to know uh the farmers that go to the farm markets um try to grow as much of your own stuff as possible use sources that you trust um again it's it's time to say goodbye to the big chains i've seen the change out there the farmers markets are always packed and then you know, if we're if we're out there on Saturdays, because that's usually the big day in the farmer market, you go by the the regular stores, and and thankfully uh, there's not a lot of people in there in comparison, at least in our area here. And we've lived in so many different areas, we've gotten different feels for it. I know it's very challenging in certain areas, really, really challenging. Like when we were in, uh, you know, in New Mexico. <sighs> That, that, that was really tough. I mean, it was really tough to find anything edible. So, I mean, if you weren't growing it yourself, it was a challenge. You know, there was more options in Taos and Santa Fe than there was in Grants and Gallup. And, you know, again, every area is going to have its challenges. So now the UK government wants to control your fridge or they might send you to jail. Yeah, again, they're going to regulate everything. This is the thing. They want complete control. They've had a lot of control. Now they want absolutely complete control. Everything is going to be rationed. Everything's going to be rationed. They're going to tempt people, and there will be an awful lot of people that will say, I have to do what to get 2000 a month, 2500 a month? Jeez, that means I won't really have to work much, will I? I won't have to do it. Yeah, but, you know, again, it, it's indebted slavery. And they are full steam ahead on this. And they're going to regulate everything. It's just like 1984. You're, the only things you're going to have out there to listen to are government-approved, you know, propaganda. Well, that, that's made it so difficult for us to do videos on something as simple as fasting and, you know, something as simple as talking about the population. They, they take it down and they, they claim, you know, this is uh, misinformation and, and it really is getting more and more difficult. And that's why um, Patreon has re really been helpful. Um, so that's that's what we're doing right now. We can be a little more open there. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, as one of our uh, family members, it's actually in the big beast system. And, you know, when we look at the Pentagon here, they're using AI to police narratives that represent a threat to government, not a threat to the people, a threat to the government. 
And it's not just in the U.S., it's not just in the U.K., Canada, Australia, New Zealand. No, 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 this is everywhere, obviously. This is China, this is Russia, uh, this is Turkey, this is you know, India, this is everywhere. The government is always all about power. When those get in power uh, that usually get there, uh, it, it's all about greed. It's all about who you know and what you will agree to do. As again, the secret societies truly control everything from the shadows. And that's again part of the big realization. So we have to recognize it's it's not about helping us. <laughs> no, it's just about ensuring their future as the control system of the planet. And you know, Cindy's been talking a lot about this. Human embryo models grown from stem cells, no egg, no sperm. No trip down the canal, the birth canal, which, again, I'll let Cindy expound on this because, you know, this is one of the things that she's been talking about in how they're trying to take the soul out of humans and trying to truly create nothing more than a slave race, which we see with the gray aliens. Gray aliens are really very real. Uh, I've seen them up close and personal. You know, Cindy has... Uh, my kids have, you know, hers. Again, and my 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 dad, her dad. I mean, you know, this is something where they watch families, and I would venture to guess that better than ten percent of the population is monitored generally generationally. Um, they keep an eye on certain bloodlines, and it's not necessarily their own. You know, when we're when we're talking about the womb, I would always call it a stargate, you know, and I never really knew where that came from until I sat down and I, I thought about it one day. Um, and, and you really are a being is coming from source and it goes through the stargate and it comes into this world. It comes into a new world. And, you know, even eggs, uh, eggs, it, it comes from source and it comes into this world. And to me, it's just such a disturbing thought that things in the future will no longer come through that sacred stargate and they're going to be created in a different way, not from the way that uh, directly allows a source imprint to be imprinted in this body. And then this body comes in and expresses itself. So this is something, it's been a little bit haunting and uh, it's really been bothering me, but um, I see it's true. If, if it's not coming through uh, the Stargate, your Stargate, a woman's womb, um, an egg, a natural, other natural ways, you know, then there's something just doesn't feel quite right about the energy in that. And they're really diving deep in here. And, and I keep talking about this Luciferian experiment taking away the idea of uh, taking away the idea of source the source connection and rerouting that and then what kind of a system do you have what kind of beings do you have it, it just really bugs me yeah absolutely again this is about completely a, a recreation of creation it's a distortion of all that is it, and when we started out talking about, uh, you know, that, that little blurb there talking about how irradiated foods uh, destroy the DNA and then the organisms consume that. And don't worry, the, the microorganisms are destroyed, but you'll be okay. Well, we're made up of tons of small cells. And, and again, as many cells as there are in the body, there's 10 times that organisms that are living in our body as if our body is the universe and there's a delicate balance that needs to be man maintained and again the whole mindset of allopathic medicine is always uh it's very much like warfare in vietnam it's it's scorched earth and spreading agent orange which again is causing cancers in people down the line and then you have the same chemicals being sprayed on people's uh, yards that seeps into the water system and yeah oh gosh your yard looks amazing uh yeah but it's too bad you know so many people are dying of cancer because so many yards look amazing that's just part of it everything is one big distortion everything is is pieced together this is a layered effect that's that's going on so again 
we need to really investigate detoxing and we've done many videos on that and you know again i get tempted to up re-upload some videos that we did a year or two three years ago because they're still very pertinent and you know again you could always do the little search bar um, which i would hardly recommend you just hit this type in detox and and again you'll be off and running or you could just check out others again um, let me bring up dr mindy because she's w awesome and we would absolutely say listen to her instead of listen to us because you know she is uh, uh, one of the top experts when it comes to to fasting and you know especially for you ladies out there you know if you're in you know an age group like my cindy you, you know she's in the big change time so you have all sorts of hormonal changes going on women are are, are different than men Oh my God, is, is that against the law to say that? Women yeah. are different than men? Yeah, you know, and you know, you can absolutely better yourself. And, you know, oh gosh, it, it goes back to a book I read by Pavo Areola uh, way back in, gosh, the 70s. I, I think I was 11 years old when I read it and it got me motivated uh, to start to do intermittent fasting and fasting because what is the first thing the body gets rid of when you haven't taken in food? Like if you wait 16 hours or more, you'll start to first break down cancerous cells. This is what nature has built into us. We eat too much. And when we're eating these GMO foods, uh, again, we eat too much, we eat too often, and we're still nutritionally deficient. Right. You know, I mean, I, I am just ever so patiently waiting for the menopause fairy and uh, it'll be a great day. Um, I can hardly wait. I'm done. You know, I'm done with this part. I'm ready to start reverting back to childhood. So enough adulting done here. But yeah, it, it's it's so true. We don't know near enough about our bodies and they're shoving all of these different things upon us. And it's definitely having an impact and an impact in a really huge way. You know, a lot of a lot of young women out there having having children and then, you know, they get back to a point in their lives where they're ready to start dressing up again. But if you like look at all the makeup and you look at the lotions and the face creams and stuff, all of these are those really bad estrogens that bring you out of balance that I, I really think that they can uh, tip you in the wrong way when it comes to having those baby blues really getting you in a bad spot because there's so many estrogens because you have so many institutions saying here put this on your face here put this on your body here you know put this in your body and it's just not bringing any balance so we have to be more deliberate in bringing ourselves balance so if you are looking at this here you see a beautiful um, beach there and we have a starship on the launch pad it just makes me think of how it won't be too far off when you're not seeing planes in the air but you are seeing starships coming and going on a regular basis yeah i, I see that for sure yeah i mean that's right around the corner uh, the paradigms are going to be just blown away so you know, again, those that are stuck back in the medieval past, their their paradigm's going to really be shaken. And this little guy is like, well, it's time I get serious. I got to get serious. I saw dad doing this, and I don't know. It seems to be working for him. They say I'm starting to look a little bit like Garfield, so I got to get my butt in gear. Oh, my cute little kitty. Absolutely. It's time to be the best uh, version of ourselves po as possible. And again, certainly you want to put food in your body that is safe and is going to be nutritionally sound. Again, there's so many, you got to look at labels and hopefully when you look to the ingredients, there's just one ingredient. Uh, we were talking about that with one of our um, dear beloved family members today, you know, hi Gwen. <laughs> hi Gwen. And again, making our own, we can make our own versions of many things. So you know, if you're buying store-bought mayonnaise, if you're buying uh, salad dressings, if you're buying all these things that might have a dozen or more ingredients, 
you know, maybe try making it yourself. It's really not that hard. Um, we have done, you know, quite a few videos in the past on, on different things as far as cooking and, you know, we'll share some things in the future again. As always, guys, much love. Again, hop on over to Patreon and become part of the family over there. Three pennies a day. Get some unique videos. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.